Welcome back to the USRR. I am Premier River, and I am looking down at the tiny town of Canassa. And we have got a new swimming pool. How are they doing? I haven't seen anybody in the pool yet. I've just seen staff, so we can get up to eight people with two staff. I was kind of wondering about that. We can definitely have a bunch of staff, and that's a good thing. So we'll see. I cut it down to five. I figure that's enough people going over there because we are having issues. Let me start up time again. I usually do that to, just right before we start. I did play for it a few months. It was April something if when I started playing again after the last episode. And we have made progress on this road as well. So I have assigned this bridge. And I have assigned a few other things. Let's go back over to the construction office. We can take a look. So we have this food factory, the grain storage, a the factory connection between the two. So that's these three things in green. And then we have the distribution office, which I didn't forget about, but was going to do a little later. May have to step that up a little bit because the progress on our food factory here uh, is incredibly slow. So let's hop over here and take a look at our bus stop. Three people waiting, and that's very typical. Sometimes I've seen it be as high as 10, but but rarely that, you know, more, more like three normally. So every time this white bus pulls in, he steals a couple people, and we've been pretty good. I mean, as far as, like, keeping the... I did get one message just very recently. It's June, so it's not a big deal that the production stopped here. So this is far and away our issue. I, I want to build and design, and I'm... You know, putting this bridge onto the onto the docket to be built, and yeah, we just don't have the people. Let's take a look at that real quick. And I did want to come back at this point because I think that now is the moment. What about a year and a half in? I think we started March, so it's a little bit less than that. But a year and a half into our first little uh, thing here, our first year and a half, and. We're just just struggling with people. Let's take a look at all time Might as well. There we go. See, so we really haven't gone up hardly in the last few months. It, it's just about right where we left it when we quit. Maybe even lower than when, when it was at some point. But you can see where the good thing is, is that we're getting a lot more of the children. And I love this new stat. This is my favorite new stat where they break it down to 16 to 21 year olds because I can now see that we have 48 of those. And when we left, we had something like 15, maybe 20. So that's, we're just about to start getting a good number of kids coming into the workforce. So when you look at our workers, we have 155. The other thing that's noteworthy and very nice to see is we have 85 university educated. And again, I really like to see this stat up here because then I can look at the workers with higher education and it's only 46. So that means I know I have 20 people in the pipeline. Not a huge deal, but there are times when I, you know, especially in the beginning here where you said, okay, well, I don't have enough teachers. I got 66 people. And it's, you never really knew exactly. You had to go around to each house and say, okay, oh, let's, because see, if you looked at each house, you could add it up to, to see who was there and whatnot a little bit better, but in any event, we uh, can now see that with our stats, so that's kind of nice. So I came back just so that you guys could see, give you a little bit of an update. I don't like to fast forward too much, but to be honest, this thing is, let's see, what are we at percentage-wise now? 11%, right? So it's, you can just see it's going up slow. Now we are doing on the slower mode there, so we could go up, but even then... This is just trickling up, and it is the building that I want to get done next, right? Even if we don't get this silo built, I'm okay with that. Like, I'd rather get this going. Because even when we get this going, what is it? I forget how many people the bakery takes. We can probably look it up, right? Uh, that wouldn't be how we do it. But food, food factory, 170 workers. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's more than we have people. So this one industry alone could use up all of our people. And then, of course, we want to build a distributor. Or a distributor. Distiller after that. Distributor is over here, right? We'll actually use him as a collector rather than a distributor. Collecting the stuff off of the farm. 
that kind of maximizes out our farm. And I don't know, for those of you who've played with the small farm, you may know if six fields is the right magic number. Seems like it's a fair thing to do. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. I did pave these two roads to get into those fields during the episode. Then I'm just hoping to get past here just so that we have something to do with the episodes, right? Besides just watch cars go back and forth. So if we can get into here, then at least we can start doing a little bit of designing and whatnot while we're waiting for our people to go up. So not the most exciting, you know, news update. But hey, we got a poll, so let's take a look at the stat for the sports. That's we should expect. I can already see it's going up. And I have a new theory. Maybe you guys know it. I think the more cultural enjoyment we're giving people, I think it's hurting their loyalty. If you look, our loyalty was going up. All right, until about the same exact time that our culture started going up. And I know when you have a movie theater, I'm sorry, a uh, movie theater. When you have, this is a movie theater, cinema. When you have a radio station, I know that you can, whenever you up the loyalty, you lower the, the cultural entertainment. So I'm actually thinking of maybe cutting this down to be just one staff where it kind of functions like the football field does where you don't always have a staff there and that will actually cut down on our cultural entertainment and will that allow our loyalty to go up now maybe somebody knows this can save me the aggravation but right now our, our cultural entertainment is through the roof and there you go like so let's see exactly if we can use our stats up here government loyalty is 27 dropped down to 27 percent. it was up in the like a 40 something and I thought I had arrested that. So the loyalty is something that I haven't played with a whole lot. But we'll learn about it. We'll get there. Cultural entertainment is at 91. So let's see if those kind of reverse each other with that move. I'm kind of curious to see if the loyalty could be hurt by the cultural entertainment. But the lack of cultural entertainment might not raise the loyalty, if that makes sense. But if the two are fighting with each other, I want to know. So there we go. So I'm conducting my own little experiment until I learn otherwise. I guess I could always Google it, but what's the fun in that? One of the fun things about this game is I don't think it's... The challenge of it isn't because it's so complicated. You know, like there are mechanics in it, and it's fun. But it's not, like, so overcomplicated that you have to spend a year and a half in a college degree to figure out how to play it. <laughs> you know, like, you know, especially, you know, you could you can kind of get by pretty quickly and know the the challenges in expanding and just building it's it's sort of like a sandboxy game of course in that sense you know things make sense 94 percent of the time right the things you would do in this game make sense in real life like the vast majority of the time maybe i'm not even being fair with 94 percent, but it is a game let's be honest so so there we go. Um, I guess enough talking for the moment. And I will, you know, come back when a little bit more has happened, like this food factory, I guess. Really, this bridge would be nice. So if we get the food factory done, my next priority is going to be getting in here and getting this, <clears throat> excuse me, getting this grain storage going. Because then we can store just that much more of our grain over there. Not sure how much of this we need. I want to balance it all out. We can take our time. There's no, as long as people are our hold up, there's really no hurry. I mean, it's, you know, we're not really even going to be able to turn this up. We don't have the money to keep just going endlessly building things. So, but I would like to get some things designed. So there you go. So I will be back in a few minutes and hopefully we'll have some of these construction projects done and we'll be ready for the harvest. So if nothing else, I'll come back for the harvest, right? How does that sound? We can we can watch our first harvest together and kind of see how it goes. And again, hopefully by that point we'll be ready to at least have a couple workers. And we can talk about the busing and how we get the workers there. All right, see you in a few seconds. Well, we're bringing in the harvest. So we don't have a distribution office yet. But I did a while ago, like I did think about it. I was like, you know what, I need to get this distribution office done. So I came over to my construction office a little while ago and said, you know what, stop working on that food factory and start getting the distribution done, like I just said. 
So there we are. So we're, we reprioritize. I really do wish there was a way to resort these for us micro managers of the of the uh, thing where we just have a little up and down arrow maybe. So, but I guess that's not coming. I asked for that two years ago. So they don't seem to have that as a priority. In any event, here we are. Uh, we got this done. Or we're about to get this done, and we'll go there. The other thing I've been, I did was I took our educated. We take a look at the number, total number of educated. We have 86, and even amongst our workforce, we now have 72. So I took the people that were in this house off of just going to the places where the educated workers are needed. They could go to more places. Now I also took this guy off of going to the kindergarten. And I actually had taken this guy off entirely, but it really didn't work because I, I didn't get enough people to the... They started going to all these stores, right? Well, I was actually limiting, maybe not so much the kindergarten, but I was limiting the number of people. I mean, you know, like, by by telling them where to go, I was limiting the number of sellers that I would have in here. So, in other words, I think I almost need to turn this down a little bit where I think I can, right? So I've turned this down to five. Can I turn it? Yeah, let's turn that down to three, right? We don't, maybe even just two. We'll see how we get by. Because, you know, when you don't, when you do it this way, like to me, it's just, it's six of, six of one, half dozen of the other, as far as whether you prevent them from going places here or not. So I understand that the less stringent you are about their houses you know and if you're not stringent then they'll get zero unemployment but you could also in other words be sending too many people to other places <laughs> right so by doing this we're forcing at least 50 people 49 workers to go to the bus stop and i think that's a positive thing if that makes sense so again it's i think a matter of how you plan on doing it but we took that off caused ourselves some more problems put the bus stop back on because I just need to get some people in there. And then I have had some messages about the kindergarten, not having enough kindergarten. But every time I look, there's plenty of people. So I think it's just happenstance that you don't get all the workers you need. But we do need to, you know, you need to stay on top of your kindergarten situation. That'll hurt you a lot, too. All right, new vehicle. Yeah, I think they're just doing that to tease me. Now, the other thing that we, some time has passed. Oh, now iron ore price is up. Okay was this message citizen loyalty is low so we keep I don't know if we got more than one of them yeah so I got a couple new train we can get citizen loyalty yeah so we're getting a bunch of citizen loyalty message it went down to 25 and our culture entertainment went to 92 a lot of times I've looked in here you know percentage of the time I've looked in here there's no staff so we're definitely at least minimally cutting back on their cultural entertainment so i don't know if that's having an effect yet or not it hasn't it hasn't caused our loyalty to go up let's put it that way which you know, i'm not so bothered what are we doing here we go well, let's do all so you see it's still down at 20 it seems to have stopped at 25 there so i don't know we'll keep an eye on it obviously we'll be getting those annoying messages i think it seems like when it's at 25 or lower it yells at you so I was, had been trying to avoid that when I put in my Lenin statue. And if you guys have any suggestions on how to get that loyalty up, we could do that. The radio station could work. We just don't have enough people, right? We need the people. Yeah, people are going to be our problem and our theme. And yeah, now I can see we're back to working on this. So that means my distribution office must be done. Which, let's slow things down a little bit here. And that's the main reason I came back because I knew I'd be doing this soon. Yeah, if we're going to get some covered hauls, I don't know, I guess one for each tractor for, for now, maybe a fourth one, because usually having an extra isn't going to hurt. That takes a good chunk out of our money, but I think we have to get our industries that we have going, right? So let's manage the tasks. I want you to go to this field and then carry the grain to here. All right, unload. Well, we could select. Oh, we can't select corn. All right, so that load that field. Let's just do them, and I don't know if there's an order matters. All right, so they're going to take all the corn from the fields, and then they're going to load it into here. 
Now, I think what I'm going to do, well, we don't, we're going to need another truck eventually. Let's go ahead and buy it, right? Let's go take stuff to the food processing. At least so that way we know. Right, but we can't really do too much with that. I guess we could put that guy in here. Let's see how these, oh, so you're all going to go to the one. <laughs> you could spread it out, guys, you know. You don't all have to go to the one. So we'll see. Well, at least we'll be getting the corn off the field. Then I was doing a little bit of math just to kind of make sure and refresh my brain. And it almost is better to export bread. Let's take a look at the... Well, can't really see it from there because it's not completed. So let's come down to here. Well, let's go to the price first, right? So crops were bringing in 17. Where is it? There you go. 17.5. And food gives you 125. And then alcohol, and I remember this from the past, but I'm going over it again kind of thing. Alcohol gives you 160. So if you look at the food that the food, food place uses, crops, like if you had enough people and you were just making as much stuff as you could ever desire, you know, you only take 42 crops and make 20 foods. So that's about 50% close enough right so it's definitely well worth it to do that same thing with the alcohol you take 30 crops oops and make five alcohol with less workers keep that in mind because less workers do cost you money right so there is a balancing that's going on with the number of workers but you're also using five times the crops as you are getting alcohol which is only like 20 percent so when you think about it, if it's a matter of crops, like if you don't have enough crops, then you're better off probably exporting the food. But then keep in mind, you need a lot more trucks back and forth. Now, for us, I don't think that's a big deal at all. So I guess what I'm getting at is I really want to run up the amount of food that we're making versus getting the distillery going. Right, if it's a matter of we only can run one of them because of the people we have, I think I'd rather just get the food because I think it's as profitable or more profitable than actually exporting the alcohol. Now, if you have a lot of extra corn and, you know, we have the extra people, then it does take less people to make the alcohol. So, and that, and that is, you know, pretty darn profitable. So we'll see. I think we're going to need a few industries going before we can really be profitable. What message? Yeah, citizen loyalty. Well, we're going to work on that. But first we need to get other things going, right? Let's just make sure it doesn't drop down any lower. Yeah, say our cultural entertainment went up to 93 and the loyalty stayed at 25. So let's, let's make sure we don't get it any worse. I did look before. Let's do this year. Yeah, we haven't had any escapes this year, which would obviously be the big... That's the big one, right? And our deaths to births is good. We're 100 births to 60 deaths, so that's in great shape. And we're up to 336 people, which isn't isn't taken off quite like I would like, but we definitely have 54. We have a good balance now. Let's take a look at this. Maybe you see it better on the chart. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, we can see a big spike in the number of workers, which is nice. We need them desperately. And we're up to 182. That, that's good. And then we, we're now getting into where we have a nice distribution. Yeah, maybe a few more babies would be nice. But that's part of the baby boom, right? Is that you ended up, like, not making quite as many babies. But when all of these workers hit it, our baby camp will go back up again. And then eventually we'll find a nice, hopefully a nice smooth climb to thousands of thousands of people. <laughs> I could go for a thousand right now, anyway, right? So we're in good shape. Uh, again, it's a, it's it's, a, it's not a lot of action. I understand that, and in some ways, there's just not that much I can do about it, right? Now, the other thing we could probably do, you know what? Now that I think about it, let's let's do this a little different. And then why don't we we could put all the trucks right in there, right? Because we can do unload to here, which is really almost not what we want, other than it's a good storage. Let's do storage percent 90. Not sure how that matters, but we can't store it to there. But yeah, we can actually have them bring it right to this eventually, can't we? Yeah, we'll do storage percent 100. I did forgot to check that. 
Um, I was going to say, do if you did 90 on this one and then you did 100 on this one, it should... We could do load and unload here to keep this one at over 90 and then have it bring this one up to 100% all the time. The important part is at least we're getting our crops off the field. So when if, if we ever do get this thing done, you can see, look, no workers. We got the one bus. Yeah, it's kind of depressing. And then I thought, well, maybe I could get this... Maybe I could get this bridge worked on, but without the people, I need a few people to come out here to this bridge. I got the stuff going, right? And I cut down the num maximum workers, but we're just not getting any. So it's just, it's really just a waiting game. I need to kill more time. I'll come back again if, if, if I feel like we need another little update on what's going on, but expect, again, my population to grow. The, you know, I'll make sure I'm doing my best to balance out the workers but really they're getting to the point that they can they could probably go wherever they want and we're going to be pretty happy especially once we start getting up to four or five hundred like i'll turn off even the bus stop will start getting pretty full right there we go look we're getting 13 which is good that's that's real good and then i'd like to get this bridge built too so that i could build the other construction office and then i could take some vehicles out of here right and then we could start paving to our heart's content. Because that is something I did here. And we could probably even do in a safe way over here. Right? Um, matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to do both of those. Do it once. Right, cut down so that we just don't bring any people to it. But this is the nice thing about having a separate road construction office. You don't have to do that every time. This won't take any people, and it'll keep my trucks moving, keep our expenses going, but that's a different issue. But I do want to get all these roads paved. We'll get this one done. It's at least that part of it's out of the way. When we're ready to construct buildings, we can. So I might even come in here and start, like, paving the town, right? All these other little roads, especially right where they live. That way they don't have to work. Well, they don't have to walk in the mud. We did get them a nice little walkway over here. We'll see, but we can get all these roads paved so it's a little more official. All right, well, that's what I'm going to do for the next period of time, and then when I get done, I will uh, give you guys another update. Hopefully, we'll have some fun and exciting designing to do <laughs> when I come back, unless something else catastrophic or, or very good happens. All right, see you in a little bit. That didn't take as long as I had anticipated. Really not too much time has flown past since we last spoke. We're still, we're well into the harvest and far enough in that I don't want to waste these crops entirely. I'm actually, I want to take, let's see, this guy just, he should be emptying. All right. I'm going to take him off of this and stick him over into here real quick. All right. Let's open up his partner over here. I can shrink him. All right, we're going to add a new stop, and we're going to tell this guy to come to here and load. And then we're going to go over to Soviet border number two, which actually is probably not the most unrealistic name, is it? Might as well put crops and then unload anything. Sometimes it's weird. They pick up stuff. <laughs> so anytime I sell to the border, just sell anything they happen to pick up. Not so much with this situation, but if you're ever going to another, like I've seen them, pick up like a little tiny bit of wood for some reason where where you're telling them to pick up prefab panels and send them so let's start that guy on his way and then where's my thing there it is Oops, he's not back in there yet we'll copy that and so at least we'll have and i think maybe i'll even switch all of these trucks over to doing this once they get done the harvest there he goes he's pulling it i think i have to wait Maybe I can give them that assignment before, but right, there we go. So we have two trucks that are doing the thing. Now, how are these guys doing? Yeah, see, eventually this is just going to get all filled. Oop, that's no, I clicked on the train station. Yeah, see, these guys are just going to fill this up pretty quickly here. Let's see if there's one. Once one of them gets sitting in here, then I'll. Then I'll do it a little bit different, maybe. All right, so I think we're still going to lose some crops because they whatever's not taken off the fields gets destroyed. So 
But at least this way we'll sell off what we have because there's just no way this is getting done. I mean, I know that we're not going to... I don't think this is even getting done before next year's harvest. Well, maybe by next year's harvest, right? So it's we just might as well sell off what we can and get what money we can for things. There we go. Now we got a little Congo line going in there. Good. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. We might as well give you a real quick update. Nothing too much has changed. A few more workers. 342. You know, where our educated are going real well. That's, or, you know, highly educated are going very well. Educated in general is going good. And then our, you know, we're, we're getting to that point where our, we have a good balance, like we just said. Nothing's really changed. But I will work this out, and I will, like I said, I'll probably end up taking all of these guys out of here potentially to just have them export stuff and then try to keep this empty. We'll just try to get as much off the fields as we can, right? So now are you, you're working for the distribution office. Yeah, let me, since you're empty, let me send you over to here. All right, so I'll do the same thing with this one. So we'll have three sending out the export. It'll take them a while to drive back and forth. And then whatever those last two trucks can get in there. And then, you know, depending on how I feel, I'll, I'll set these other ones to do the same route. All right, well, I wanted to show you that. And again, nothing, that's it, right? It's just... The only other thing that I've come across, so I guess that's not totally it, but I, I started paving some of these roads, and this one was too small to have a mechanism. Is there still one? Yeah, like this one. So we have to bring workers out here, which is fine. I mean, that's not the end of the world, except it's taking away my workers from this. So this is just making no progress because I'm doing this these couple little roads. And I was going to do the roads in town, I mentioned, but this is just nothing but those almost. I mean, there's a few that I'll probably come in here and pave, but I really can't do all of these until I get, until we get good workers, right? Because I'll just steal all the workers that I want to go to this bakery. Because I really need to get an export. So that's what we're working towards, just try to get some form of industry going. We'll sell people, we'll sell bread to the outside world, right? All right so there we go. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, I may have been exaggerating a little bit when I said that the food factory wouldn't be done before next year. <laughs> it's done now. But at the same time, we're really going to struggle with people. Let me slow this down a little bit. All right, we'll keep progress going. So the next thing we're going to work on, according to this, is our factory connection here. We could probably definitely talk about getting some mechanisms. I did just do some foot pads because I was thinking about our population. Let me get too many topics going here at once. We're up to 208. Our original buildings could hold 225. So we have plenty of extra room, but I do need to consider getting these done. So I just got those two little footpaths going. And, uh, yeah. So we're we're making progress as far as getting more people. That's all of our progress is going to be measured in the number of people. And it's good to have the food going. So what I'm thinking of doing, let's... Uh, Let's see. I do want to keep exporting. The export is working quite well at this moment, to be honest. It's really, I've got one guy still in the distribution office. There he is, pulling stuff off the fields. And I've got the other four hauling stuff up there. If we look, it's kind of a, a moment in life, right? It's not, not the greatest moment. Oh, where are we looking at here? Uh, yeah, if we all look at this year. So we've exported... $3,500 or rubles worth of Soviet, of, of corn to the Soviet bloc. So it's not bad, right? Like last month's expenses were 3500 3, So we've actually like paid for a month's worth of our expenses. I don't think we were doing too much construction during this time. So that's probably a pretty fair guess. I mean, very rough, but probably fair to what our expenses are each month. So good, better than a sharp stick in the eye, right? I'm sure it was worth the gas to drive the stuff out there. But it also, we need to get this guy fired up. So let's stop talking and get firing. I don't know. I think what I want to do is just take a bus right straight there. And then that way I can limit the bus to how many people it takes or whatever else we want to do. I don't think I want a micro bus because... Yeah, let's click on buses just so we limit... And one of two. Yeah, we got these two guys, which aren't too bad. 1930 passengers. 
We could try the little 30 passenger bus. We can always use it someplace else. It's going to be plenty big enough. 3,700. What about these? These other ones are definitely more. Yeah, that's, that's right in line. I don't know. The 60 bus. Yeah, let's go for a little blue bus. How's that sound? Zill. All right. And then the other thing we're, I'm going to want, let's get another covered hall. Because I... I think it'll just be, we'll just use it here or other places. I know I could take one off. And I want you to go from, kind of hard to see, but all right, we're going to take you from there and just have you go right into there. All right. Um, yeah, unload crops. Load crops. Yeah, we'll have you wait. And yeah, for now, we'll have you wait till unloaded. So now can we take this guy and go to our bus stop? Like, like doing it through a periscope, right? All right, so we're going to load. I don't want you to take any of these, oops, these kind of people. And I don't think that matters because we're not going to get those kind of people in. So let's start this guy. And then do we want to cut down on the number of people he'll pick up? Let's just see how it works out, right? Because there's not going to be that many people at our bus stop anyway. Let's see if we can handle four buses. How many people do we have exactly? Yeah, 212 workers. But we're getting there. You know, that's a, that's 106 or 62 more workers than we had when we started. Our factory connections getting built. We'll get this grain silo built. That'll double the grain. In the meantime, I want to keep an eye on this. So the next thing I'm trying to do here is just keep exporting until the crops go bad on the field. All right, we'll keep an eye on this. No worker. Oh, building without power supply. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, well, let's go down to here. Come on. Um, yeah, well, let's do this first. I think I want to, I might take that bus off. Like, why use the people? All right, so we're going to, are we hauling anything out to this place? No, nah, just people. Oh, we're paused anyway. So what are you doing? You've got people in the chute. Yeah, so let's get you. We don't really need to be paused. Yeah, so... See what happens when I cancel this. Does it cancel the people? Unfinished road. I need to get this built. And that guy built. Kind of ASAP. I might as well leave that on for a minute, right? Keep working on the grain storage until we haul the stuff we need for the for these things won't take too long but might as well keep it going right so do we take this bus off of here for a moment um yeah there's no way to just stop him is there we'll see does he keep his i don't know i guess i'll have to redo that route that's all i forget do they keep their thing when we send them back to a new home if I send him back to there, I think he loses his thing. I'm not sure. Maybe he keeps it. There we go. So we'll have to get this built so we have power over here. And then for those of you who missed it, I did get a good comment from Teapot who said, go ahead and uh, this was not connected to this. So, so hopefully when we build this, this will be connected and all of this will be connected. I know I mentioned that in one episode. Some people miss things. Yeah, the loyalty low, but but did notice that we did go up a tick on government loyalty to 26%. Our cultural enjoyment's 94, so we can't really say that we're reversing the thing, but we're not getting any worse. And I don't know if that was just coincidence or did we actually do a good thing, right? Get a new vehicle, another train. Yeah, we're not really not in the market for any new vehicles there we go so we're hauling this stuff out of here we're getting our electrical built we'll do that unfortunately so that was a false go there on our on our thing but we'll get some crop stored in there in the meantime <laughs> so a little bit of a false hope i forgot about the electricity 
but we'll get that electricity built. What else are we forgetting about that we'll need? I think that's the last of the electricity. Yeah, because this line's built that goes over to the farm. And then this line covers all of the stuff over here. And then we got the big line that I guess we'll have to build eventually to get going over here for the over there. But that's sort of a little ways off. Not going to worry about that too much. I'm still trying to micromanage and getting this going at this point. So there we go. All right. Well, why don't I come back in another minute when we get the thing going? Let's, let's see. If I cancel this project, does it... Where's the bus? The bus is heading back. So we know the bus isn't coming to here with people. Do they keep working on it? Even though I can't see. Just curious if that... I'm not really worried about those four people. I'm just sort of curious. Yeah, so they... Construction has stopped. So even though the four people are still in there, the work days aren't going down. Nope, nope. Yeah, they did go down. Okay. It went, it's not fast because we took the crane out of there, but look at that. We're getting right over to the electrical substation that quickly. It must be the backhoe. Yeah, that's that's the backhoe building that. But that's all right. We'll keep the crane. We'll get that electric going, and then I'll be right back when the electric's going. And maybe we'll start making our own food. And I need to keep an eye on when the snow starts, right? Let's see. How, how many of these crops? I might even just pause it as soon as... I'd like to see exactly when the crops disappear and how many of them disappear. Our guy's busy. How's he doing? Yeah, 155. We could almost bring another truck back. All right, what are you doing? You, yeah, you're working for the distribution office. What are you doing? You're working for the construction office. It's this guy's. Oh, you're going to the food factory. We don't want to mess with you. Of course, you can never find one when you want them, right? Yeah, this guy. But he's going to the customs. Let's take him and put him back in here. My whole idea is to get as many of these crops off the field as we can. Why waste them? So there we go. All right, so we'll have two of them in the... Two of them into the distribution office here. Hopefully getting that many extra crops off. So I'll be back either when the snow starts or when we're ready to fire up our bakery, which all should be happening pretty close to the same time. So see you guys in a minute. All right, that really wasn't long at all. Let's go ahead and take a field that's got a good amount of crops in it and just see... Yeah, none of them really have that many. I don't know if it just dropped down. Maybe I should have been looking right before. I probably should have stared at one. Just kind of see what happens with these. Now, as far as our substation goes, we can see that that's being built right there or not. Yeah, do these go down to zero or do we keep trucking? Right, what is our... Yeah, there's no trucks in our little distribution there. All right, I guess we don't have to have these blocking everything. Yeah, this guy has 19, so are these trucks still hauling? Yeah, he's still hauling. He went to Big Field 3, this one. Yeah, so let's see. Probably was a bit of a waste of time sending that other guy, but the other thing I want to do now, I think, is... Yeah, that's the Food Factory one. Where are you? Yeah, you're working for the car. Well, you know what? We need to... Let's come up here. This guy... Yeah, the boy, they're grinding to a halt anyway, aren't they? Yeah, so why don't we send you... Well, really, we might as well send them back to where they were, right? So that was this guy. Yeah, you're coming back. You're just going in, so... Use that guy to jump back here. And... This guy should be done unloading in a second. There's another one in there, yeah. Oh, come on. All 
All right, so our exporting, well, can we tell? It does say building or vehicles, right? I think it would give us a list of vehicles that are coming here. Small amount due to tourist ratings, 0.1 stars. Hmm. Is that because we have the pool? There we go. Look, we're still taking stuff off of there. So, yeah, I don't know. How much room do we have in here? 152. Yeah, so it's probably not bad. It's going to take forever for those trucks to get back here. I'm just trying to see if there's a certain date that these just go to zero without our intervention. But we may be intervening too quickly, which is fine with me. At this point, I want the crops, right? All right, so what's going on? Our only construction assignment, and we can't work on it. We don't have any people. So where is our people bus? There it is. So you're just not even, you're just finally pulling out. You didn't want to wake up because of the snow or something. You know the feeling some days, but I like to keep my house cool, especially in the winter time. And there are certainly days that that makes it a little bit less, uh, you don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> like your toes are all nice and warm in the bed. You don't want to get them out on that cold floor, you know? Yeah, so we're going to get more people. It's just taking forever. Where is all our plows? Yeah, that's another problem until we get some asphalt going. They're going to be plowing things that I don't necessarily... I really wish there was a way you could just give them a route or high priority, like especially because of this situation here. You know, it's just... And that's why I go with the three little orange buses. They're unnecessary a lot of the times, but I think during the winter they give you... You still might get times where you don't have heat, but it's a lot, not nearly as bad. Yeah, so these crops here seem to be staying on the field pretty well. Maybe they're deteriorating and I'm not really noticing, but... Yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to try to keep an eye on that, because I feel like the crops disappeared in bigger numbers now. Maybe some small amount stays there. But anyway, we'll we'll scrape off the ground whatever we can. We need to get power to this guy. There we go. We got 33 workers on that bus. Boy, are we, are we having an explosion of people now? Well, we don't have any there, but let's see what our... 220. Well, I don't know if I'd call that an explosion, but when we look at... Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of an explosion happening, isn't it? <laughs> so... So if you can see, our baby, our next thing you know, our babies will go back up. See how our kids are going down to 88 there? So it's, you know, our babies will start, as we get more workers, our baby numbers will go up a bit. You know, so there, there'll be a little bit of unevenness to our population as it swells, and then eventually it usually steadies out, especially by the time you get your second town going, because that second town has, like, a whole different dynamic than the first town, so... But everything just sort of stabilizes after a while. Just, I guess, the randomness of when they have kids kind of does eventually balance out. But there we go. So we're we're in good shape. We're getting some more people. But 33, boy, that's a that's kind of a waste almost because I think those 33 are going out to the substation. But at least we'll get that done. And I'll probably call it quits for this. And then, yeah, what are we going to do for this? I think the next episode... When you think about it, we'll run a little bit more time forward. I'll keep working on this, but I think I'm almost going to make this bridge a bit of a priority. Again, just so we have something to do while we're while we're talking about other things and while we're waiting for the population to go up. Uh, we do need to build these houses. Yeah, there we go. So we, how many people did we put on that? Oh, that's the bus. Yep, 33 people. <laughs> I kind of wish they had gone to the thing, but it's great to see. I'm just, I'm glad to see we got 33 people at some point in a bus. That's, that's a big step forward for us at that point. All right, so this guy should be done in no time. So I think I can put on, let's put this guy, oh, construction complete. Yeah, let's, well, let's do, I'll do the bridge. All right, we'll make that our top priority. And then we'll do this grains because again the grain silo isn't going to do us that much good anymore right like it would have been key to get that done 
probably should have got that done before we got the bakery done in retrospect as a matter of timing for the crops and whatnot but yeah we're getting all the crops off the field which is encouraging right i think they'll all fit in there so whatever we have that's what we're going to make this year let's see what the export did for us see if it was kind of worth it I'll just go to all yep Yep, the only thing we've ever exported, 270 crops and, yeah, you know, $5,000. We we could use it considering yeah, we're on all, right? Considering we're minus 700,000 at this point, minus $330. Yeah, so we, we have a thing. What about last month? Did that? No, nah, we spent 8000 last month. Now, some of that's going to be on steel and stuff. Their power... We can add up the things that we're using, you know, nothing. Yeah, well, food. So there you go. Look, food's our biggest expense besides fuel. And then fuel, a lot of that's going to have to do with construction too, right? So, and then some of that's probably a little bit higher because we drove all those trucks up to the border, but that's all right. So 600, yeah. So getting the food made, that's going to be pretty key, right? Did I put that bus back in here? Did it keep its route? Yes, it did. So are we ready to fire him up? Um, yes, I believe we are. No workers. Yeah. All right. So you start, bus. Let's let's make some food. We'll make our first official product. I, I guess crops were, but you know that's not not much of a production line there, is it? Why are there no? What are all these guys doing? Don't I have... Didn't I put them back in here? I only have two. Oh, they're just taking forever and a day, aren't they? Yeah, our, our exporting would have ground to a halt anyway. We need to talk about you know, getting plowed out to there if we're going to be counting on money coming in that way. But we'll see. Well, we've got plenty of time to worry about that. Let's see. Let's go get that bus back. We'll follow it closely. Maybe we'll even jump into it, right? Take a ride around our town. Yeah, let's shrink that up here. Shrink this up. We always do the G thing, right? Turn G to turn your thing off. So yeah, let's see what it's like. That would be a nice way to end the episode, I think. We'll get some food made and we'll see. See what our town looks like from the ground. We did this one time with a train in the last series. Not too spectacular, is it? <laughs> the dirt roads and but hey, we'll eventually we'll see the way we came, you know, or see the way where we came from, I should say. Big bilchin' smoke in the background. Hopefully we'll have some belching smoke coming from our bakery in a sec. Did we get any people? Yes, nine workers. Very good. Citizens loyalty. However, every time that pops up, I'm going to check this pretty much. Yeah, it's 26. The other thing I've been checking is... Let's do this year. No escapes. That's, that's the big thing right there is those escapes. Very industrial looking town, I think we have here. We should have a truck. Now, he's still not even filled us up yet, so that's all right. So that one truck is keeping up plenty fine. I don't mind having those extra covered hauls, because we'll need them eventually. Like I said, if I get any industry going, I want to get one. I want to get one going real well. There we go. We are making food. Let's break away from that guy. And there's our food factory. We are food producers. So now what we need to do, we could probably even, how many assignments can we give to this guy? Because we're not a full farm. So we can, we can definitely give this guy more tasks too, can't we? So we could go up here and say, uh, a little confused. Well, do we, we don't have the food factory on here directly. That might be a good thing. Let's go ahead and add it. 
All right, so we're going to go from there. That's our store, right? Yeah. So in the food factory... Oh, wait. We do want to unload crops in the food factory, don't we? Yeah, that would be interesting, because then we can load this and then unload that there. Will they figure that out? Is that too too sophisticated? All right, now what are you doing? So you're just steady delivering crops, which we could do through that. Let's go see if these guys are on the job of taking crops up there. No. Because we don't have it telling it to pick crops up from here, right? So where is that? Corn grain storage, right? Cornessa... So you can load, unload. Let's take the percentage down to 89, because that's what it went to. So now this guy should be going out. Yeah, he's going to take food to the food factory. So let's go take this, this guy off of there, right? Can I see? All right, so that truck is now in there. So let's just see if this all balances out the way I'm expecting it to. So what are you doing? You're you're going to the food factory with corn. So now are you going to... Yeah, so the big thing to see is will we get a truck out of here going to get food and take it over to the thing? Now we could also just do that manually right do we have any trucks in here no but let's just see how that goes for a second load food unload food there so we should definitely be getting a truck to do that right there you go load food unload food wonderful so we are doing the distribution office thing it seems yeah, this loyalty's low. The happiness dropped down a tiny bit, too. I wonder why. I don't know. Don't see too much has changed. There we go. All right, so we're making food, and we're, you know, hopefully preventing ourselves in the future from from needing to buy food from the Soviet. And that's, that's 600 bucks. Well, let's see. How much was it? On this, let's see. What are we at? December 8th, last month. Import food was, yeah, $600. How about the this year, which is December? So we're 11 months into it, and food was sixty or 6000 So it's a little bit under $6,000. But, well, it's going to go up as we get more people, too, right? So, so hopefully we've saved ourselves $6,000 a year, and hopefully we'll be able to export some stuff. So that'll be the other thing to maybe set up in the next video or sometime pretty soon is we do need to get this whole storage going right so that's let's see what kind of vehicles do we have sitting in here yeah, unfinished road yeah that's right we want to get that going yeah that's not going to really need anything but people right are we making some progress i think we did make a bunch of progress yeah so we're, we're we've got people out there we stopped because we we need more wood framing. Yeah, well, that's the weather. That's the weather slowing down our trucks. Yeah, there goes our wood framing right there. Yep, two truckloads. That's all we have is two flatbeds. Good, good. Getting there. All right, so what else was I going to do? Oh, sign another road because... Yeah, might as well get that built so we could start getting into here. Then we could talk about seeing a good system for exporting the excess with the distribution offices because that's something that I've always not quite liked 100% is how to get this guy to have enough food and then distribute to there but we'll see we'll play with it I think it's my lack of knowing and when I quit playing a year and a half or almost two years ago now more like a year and a half 
that was where they had just added the distribution offices. So I really wasn't used to them and comfortable with working with them. Because I'm kind of a stick in the mud. That's what happens when you get to be an old fart, right? You get to become a stick in the mud. You know, I just noticed. Another captain distraction. <laughs> there you go. We'll pay that guy eventually, too. All right. So, yeah. So, we'll get better at the distribution offices. I kind of like in the way it's working out so far, right? Do we do we see food over here? Are we Are we feeding our own food? Yeah, that's that's the other thing is how much food are we are we buying? Two tons and we can only hold four tons. So what we can do is we don't really need that much clothes and electronics. So let's up this amount. Yeah, there you go. That's good. So really all we did was you know, we limited the clothes and electronics we're gonna have in here to about kind of how much we would have if we just bought them that'll give us we could put a lot more crops or food in here at that point right so hopefully that will give us enough time back and forth and how is our food production going yeah well we got 7.8 are you going to get more food yeah look he'll, so he should take more he's only going to load 12 percent. did you get that message yeah see and i think he no, no, he's filling up more. Yeah, there we go. He switched it to 52% that quick. Great. He's going to take three and a half tons over there. Perfect. So I think we're going to stop importing food here pretty shortly. Very good, guys. We've got it going on. <laughs> We've got our first industry. First kind of proper industry besides just selling crops. So let's see how this goes. I'll, I'll work on building some more of these buildings in between. Being the warehouse. Eh, distillery yeah probably but you know let's let's watch our money right i don't want to go i'd really like to do this without going into much debt i'm picturing that the only debt we may take on is just to speed things up like when we're going to go buy specifically a new industry like the coal and all that rather than wait next three decades we might take some loans out to do that but i don't want i'd like to try to do that as minimally as we can and get out of debt as quick as we can too so that's the other side pay me now or pay me later is kind of how that debt thing goes and you pay more later you know that's that's the problem okay well i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode we are minus eight degrees celsius just a little bit cold here in our town but we got the heat going i can see i don't see any smoke coming out of our bakery but we do have some workers there and we are producing some food not overwhelming but How's our population doing as we leave? 227 and 360. So not a huge growth in some ways, but when you look at it in other ways, like, you know, there we go. Look, that's a nice increase. <laughs> you know, and I think if we can keep that trend going, you know, we'll see our babies start increasing a tiny bit. I can see the chart just starting to turn up. So we'll within a few episodes, we're going to be in good shape with the people, I think. And, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll have to work out our plowing regimen a little bit too, but at the same time, we're, we're getting there. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.